Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. We're filming from Impact Hub Westminster, a co-working space for startups focusing on sustainability. This week, there's been a bounty of investment news. Manchester-based fintech startup Due Course raised £6.25 million in angel funding. The firm's new backers include the founders and investors behind Zoopla, Love Film, TransferWise and LinkedIn. Dating app Once closed a $5.5 million Series A round. The funding included a second wave of investment from Partech Ventures. Fintech startup Curve raised £2 million in seed funding, bringing its total raise to £3.5 million. Other investments this week include Bricklane.com's £1.3 million seed, PropTech firm Nested's £1.2 million raise, and the $1 million seed received by Airbnb management service Hostmaker. The UK was responsible for the second highest number of tech exits by country in the first half of 2016. According to a new report from CB Insights, the US, unsurprisingly, led the ranking followed by the UK, India, Canada and Germany. Overseas, Twitter is being sued by one of its shareholders. Doris Shemwick claims Twitter misled investors in 2014 by stating its monthly active users would soon increase to 550 million. It's also claimed it would reach more than a billion in the longer term, but it's nowhere near achieving either of these goals. Our download of the week is Orderella. Available on Android and iOS, the app enables users to order and pay for drinks at participating pubs and bars. The drinks are then brought straight to their table. With the service already working at more than 150 venues across the UK, queuing at the bar could soon become a thing of the past. And finally, Amsterdam researchers are planning to bring driverless boats to the city's canals. Driverless cars may not be ready for the roads just yet, but those working on the £21.4 million rowboat project hope to have a prototype on the water by 2017. That's all for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, head to our website and follow us on Twitter.